found this really cool scene driving back home from uh, Bridal, Bridal Falls. These trees, I've passed them many, 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 many times. I've always wanted to photograph. I have the opportunity now, so I'm all set up with the 8x10. I'm gonna use the 355, it gives me a really good, gets me in close, but still plenty of room around the trees. I'm gonna be shooting some of the Cat Labs 80. I've got two sheets left. Right now I'm just waiting for the clouds over there. Move clouds here to move into the sun. Oh. I'd really like to see if those trees would go dark. On the, we have some light in the background on the mountains in the background. And have this overlying shadow. Trees dark. Got the orange filter on. That's a uh, stop and a half, I believe. Yeah, stop and a half more. Oh well. Oh, light's looking good. Got to do this. Okay, I think I just got it. I just got it. The trees were in shadow, and so was the foreground. The background was in sun. Mm, I'm excited. I'll go home and develop. See you guys in the dark room. Hello, boys and girls. I am about to do a extreme minimal agitation test. Extreme minimal agitation is not new to me. I've been doing um, it for 25 years, but I always called it semi-stand development. So all it is is working with a dilute developer, and in this case PowerCAD HD, and uh, decreasing the number of times you agitate the film. So I'm going to develop two sheets of film, one how I normally process it in PowerCAD HD, um, and the other one in very dilute PowerCAD HD and uh, I'm going to reduce the number of times that I agitate it. The film that I'm using is CatLabs 80 and I have most of my experience is with HP5. So right now I'm just getting set up to process first sheet normally in PowerCAD HD at 1 to 1. 100. Here's the water in the free bath. Hey guys. I'm about to develop a sheet of Cat Labs 80 8x10 and uh, I was going to give it semi stand, my, my usual semi stand method. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that Steve Sherman's uh, extreme minimal agitation. I mean, that's just a fancy schmancy phrase for semi stand development, but his mixture is a little bit different as far as uh, part A and part B. So I'm I'm going to try his mixture just for the hell of it. And his uh, agitation regimen. I think it's uh, two minutes continuous agitation, then let it rest for seven and a half minutes, agitation for 20 seconds, then let it rest for another seven and a half minutes, agitation for 20 seconds, let it rest for seven and a half minutes, and then stop. But I'm going to add an extra wet rest period just because it's cat labs and it needs a lot longer in Pyrocat. Uh, so I've got the, this BTZF tube filled right to the top. I'm going to flip the lights off, stick the film in pre-bath, get it in here, cap it, and start agitating. Well, at that point, I'll we'll have the lights on so you can see. Fingers crossed. for seven and a half minutes.
sit for seven minutes and 30 seconds. What do I do to pass the time? Well, I look at old magazines. This one by Photo Techniques. I think when I first subscribed to this, it was called Darkroom and Camera tech, some Techniques, something like that. Let's see, film. How much was film? I could get a box of 8x10, T-Max, 400, 25 sheet box, 53.95 US. You can't even get 25 sheet boxes. How much is it for a 10 sheet box? Forget it. Ilford Professional Black and White Film, HP5, a box of 8x10, 48.95, 48.95. One by five boxes. Fourteen ninety-five. Good grief. <sighs> Anyways, this is how I pass the time. I'm waiting for film to develop. Reading old magazines. Here is the EMA negative, the extreme minimal agitation negative. Very pink. Let's fix it. Not fairly well developed. Wow, it's pretty clear. Amazing. 